check out all my books on audible.com. Hey folks, Dr. Bob, just a quick revisit of spirulina and B12 and where do you get B12. There's a consensus out there that chlorella is a far better source of vitamin B12 than spirulina. And a study done conducted in Finland found that chlorella may potentially contain human bioactive vitamin B12. The study examined the vitamin B12 status in long-term adherents of a strict, uncooked vegan diet, who were compared with 21 omnivores. The researchers found that the vegans consuming chlorella algae had serum vitamin B12 concentrations twice as high as the vegans that were not using it. Six of nine vegans that were not consuming chlorella showed slow but consistent deterioration of vitamin B12 status over a two-year observation period. On the basis of these results, the researchers concluded that chlorella consumed in large amounts can supply adequate amounts of bioavailable vitamin B12. Other researchers who have looked at chlorella have found human active B12 in it, which would support the finished study. Consensus out there that chlorella is a far better source of vitamin B12 than spirulina. And spirulina has all these analog versions and they really aren't healthy for you or whatever. I don't know if I entirely buy into that, but uh, as I said in the video, my B12 is off the scale, so it's really higher than it's supposed to be. Like I said, I don't think you can get too much B12, but I probably get a lot from chlorella. I take chlorella every single day. I take spirulina every single day, and then I take my probiotics, and I make sure I supplement with cobalt. I, you know, we want that cobalt because that's what's at the heart, the cobalamin uh, B12 uh, vi vitamin is at the heart of it is the cobalt so you need the bacteria actually to make that there's a couple of health supplements generally recognized as good for you that aren't spirulina and blue green algae if anybody's taken them i'd suggest you reconsider that strategy because they are loaded with b12 analogs uh, they analyze spirulina tablets and um, 83 percent of the of the molecules that look like b12 were actually b12 analogs and the same thing with blue-green algae. These B12 analogs, pseudo-B12, turns out to be the predominant substance, and it is definitely not suitable for vegans, and it will block your real B12 from getting in there. But if you're taking spirulina or blue-green algae, uh, and think you're doing something good for yourself, you're not. Reconsider that. You can see in this study, naturally occurring cobalamin analogs, B12, can function, this is what we find in spirulina, can function as cofactors for human methamolaline COA mutase. In other words, it, it, can, uh, it performs functions in the body beyond just interfering with B12. So I think they in part have it wrong here. This has been argued over for a long time. Spirulina. Is it safe while pregnant? I'm afraid it may not even be safe when you're not pregnant. Um, and that's because of neurotoxic compounds that have been found contaminating spirulina supplements on the shelf. And spirulina manufacturers say this spirulina does not create this toxin. Here are two medical doctors. Uh, I think they're both vegans, as a matter of fact, but um, they've read some studies, and so now they tell you, you know, don't take spirulina because it's it's full of BMAA, and it is got microcystins in it, which are very dangerous, and that's total misinformation. Showed you all the test reports that we have, and it really comes down to the environment, how you grow these things. Now, I'll let the first doctor just let him know there is no such thing as blue-green algae. Let's, let's be clear. It's cyanobacteria, and then people call things, this call it blue-green algae. There is no blue-green algae. There's green algae, which is chlorella, and there's lots of other types of algae. And then there's something called cyanobacteria, and that's, what one of the, that's the class that spirulina is in. So if you're going to trash something, you should at least call it by what it is. There's, there is no blue-green algae. I think he's referring to this stuff that's taken out of a lake up in Oregon. This is how they market it as a blue-green algae. It's not a blue-green algae. It's a cyanobacteria, AFA, Aphanus monflas aqua. And you should, you know, contact that company or any company you're buying from up there and ask them for a, a report on the BMAA and microsystems. Make sure it's not in there. That's what I would do. But don't call cyanobacteria blue-green algae because there's no such thing. It's just a myth. It's like one of those unicorn things. You, you know, you're not going to get vitamin B12. They're all analog and regular B12. And um, all the receptors are going to be taken up by this, this fake type of uh, B12. And that's just not true, not to mention, as I said before, you know, my B12 is, is off the scale. So I'll say it one more time. You need the probiotics, you need cobalt, uh, you need chlorella, and uh, I don't think spirulina is going to hurt you one bit.
I, I've been taking it. I started off with spirulina. I've been taking it 25 years now, at least. And uh, it is one of the greatest foods on the planet, no doubt whatsoever about that. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time. YouTube claimed I uh, was guilty of medical misinformation during the you know what, you know when. And, uh, you know, my channel's never been the same since. Uh, they kind of started hiding my videos. I used to get thousands of hits. Now I can get a few hundred if I'm lucky. So anyway, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment below, and share this video. It would be a lot of help. I'd really appreciate it.